Hi, all. Welcome to the Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. So you have already experienced the book reading, Fear Not Failures. I'm proud to share with you that I'm the author of this book. I've already given uh, six videos, during, uh, including the introduction. Now it is the seventh video in the series, and I'm reading the chapter six, <clears throat> Let Success Be Our Constant Companion is the title of this chapter, okay? We begin this section with a translation of a wise Sanskrit utterance. A tiny ant can car hundreds of meters as it is sturdy, though very slow in its march. But an eagle perched onto the treetop remains where it is if it doesn't fly. This wise utterance refers to the goal which one sets for himself and how he achieves it. The expression success has many connotations. One's success may be in the monastery world and another's may be in the world of moral correctness and ethics. There is no question of high or low in success. For success in any field is success. It is true that we can learn a lesson or two from the experiences of those who have achieved success in the past. In any achievement, Self-confidence is an essential ingredient, but the excess of this ingredient leads to complacency, which is dangerous. Adolf Hitler is a classic example of this complacency which ruined him. To prove that overconfidence and complacency may lead to self-destruction, Say wise and learned Savan cite the legend of a bull. A mosquito settled down on the horn of the bull. After some time, it questioned the bull if it was causing any inconvenience to it. The bull replied, certainly not. Even if you bring your entire clan and live on my horn, it won't affect me. Why can't we inculcate this attitude? We said earlier that success in any field, be it finance, politics, art, literature, or technology, should be termed success. But an important element is attached to any success. That is, how has he acquired success? Has that success given him personal happiness? Has it given him professional satisfaction? Has it impained upon the welfare and well-being of others? We should never forget that we are born in a society. We live in it and have an obligation to serve it. Columbus, 1446-1506. to 1506. <laughs> The story of Christopher Columbus, an Italian navigator in Spanish service, proves how personal success and glory were beneficial to his own country and to the world at large. History says that his co-navigators turned hostile when he could not achieve his intended purpose of reaching India. The indomitable sailor pushed on boldly and landed in West Indies. He is credited with having discovered America in 1492. Even today, the Americans observe October 12 of every year as Columbus Day. Columbus adorns the pages of history as a discoverer of new world. All glory comes from daring to begin, Eugene Ware. Uh, this is the end of the chapter 6 of Fear Not Fails. I hope you have enjoyed it. Do comment your feelings about this chapter. Okay, I'm waiting for your comment. Do subscribe.
Transformation Unlimited and Jaya Prakash Nagati Hali YouTube channels and get ready to watch the next video, seventh chapter, Mental Attitude. Okay. See you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.